If your child does not like your new man, ask them. What's good? It's your boy Zachary Carroll, aka Pastor Z, and this is Christian Hood Talk, where we help you apply the Bible to all of life's craziness. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Bro, this! Go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. We are on the road to 500 subscribers. For all you new subscribers, welcome to the family. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Point number three, you need to be open to the idea that the man you're dating will become the head of your household once he marries you. God has called men, husbands, to be the leader of the marriage like Christ was leader of the church. We just discussed this in the previous video. And you must be open to allowing a man to come into the family and exist in his headship that he is called to by God. If you're not open to that, then you are really not in a position to date. You do not have the heart posture that you need to have in order to allow a good God-fearing, Christ-following man to come into your life and marry you. Depending on the child's age, perhaps it is beneficial to have the man adopt the child. If the biological father is not involved or doesn't want to be involved or whatever, there is other options. There are ways to make it official that this man is now the head over this new household, one that is built by God. When there is a power struggle between a new man that has married you and some other man that didn't want to marry you, that is doing his own thing or whatever he's doing or whatever is going on, you are just promoting chaos. Nothing but chaos and disruption into your own household. You need to start fresh. You need to walk into this new life with a clean slate. Your sins are forgiven in Christ, but that does not erase the consequences of your sins. So although God has forgiven you, there are consequences to sin, either your sin for fornicating outside of marriage or another man's sin for forcing himself upon you, sin has consequences and it's a tragedy of life. But when you exist in God, when you allow Christ to come in and you allow yourself to become a new creation, you have to break off from the old. The old must pass away. So I'm, if the father wants to be involved in the child's life and he's not coming with a bunch of drama and chaos and disruption, obviously I'm not saying don't allow a father to see his child, especially if he's being a good father, especially if he wants to be involved and things like that. There should be a amicable way for you to split custody. And that's going to be something you're going to have to deal with on a case by case basis through the court system. That's not the point of this video. The point I'm making here is that if you are going to date, if you're going to allow yourself to be courted and you know pursued by another man, you have to be open to him being the head of that household once he marries you. If that's not something that you're open to, then you should not be dating. It's only gonna be chaos and disruption. And finally, recognize that it is not about you. You are not the only soul involved. We tend to always think of dating very selfishly. We tend to always think that it's all about our needs and what we like and what we want. But when you are a single parent, when you are a single mother, that's no longer your consideration. You must not neglect your child. You must not forget that whoever you are bringing into your household will not only affect you, but will affect your child too, probably in a much greater way than you. Now, the child doesn't see this new person as someone special, as someone that's got a bunch of hearts floating around them, as someone that's beautiful and has got a lot of swag and he's charming. He does, the, the child doesn't see that. The child just sees this foreign person 
this foreign man, someone that they don't know coming into their life and potentially messing everything up. Now, I know some of you are thinking this is obvious, but you will be surprised. I've worked in a lot of children and family legal clinics. You will be surprised how often mothers neglect their child for a boyfriend or how often a boyfriend can take advantage of the child. You should discuss these new people coming into your life with your child. Now, I'm not saying that every time you go on a first or second or third or fourth or fifth date, they should be introduced to your child. But when somebody makes it to that level, you should sit down one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, in a safe space, and talk with your child about their impressions of this new person and listen to them. Throw your feelings out of the window. Suppress your emotions for one conversation and listen to your child. What does your child say? Now understand, that this is dependent on the relationship you have with your child. If you don't have an open relationship where they can just talk to you about how they feel, that's a problem in and of itself. But you should talk with your child and ask them, what do they think of this new person that's coming into their life? A new man that's gonna potentially have authority over the household and listen to what they're saying. You'll be surprised in subtle ways you know, Jesus really flocked to children and said, don't prevent them from coming to me because out of a child's mouth is the kingdom of heaven. We all should receive Jesus like children. So children do have a lot of truth and a lot of observations to them that we may not notice. If your child does not like your new man, ask them why. Do not make them feel bad because they don't like who you like, ask them and listen to them. Your child's safety could be at stake. It's not about you. You cannot date selfishly anymore. You have a child and you need to date thinking about them, not just yourself. Well, I hope some of those tips were helpful in your dating walk. Hopefully I didn't offend you too bad. I would love to dialogue with you down in the comments about some of these tips. What do you think? Do you think they work? Do you think they're just offensive? I love to talk about it with you. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below. That's all I got for you. My name is Zachary Carroll, AKA Pastor Z. This is Christian Hood Talk. Y'all be cool.